Yesterday, the very first SMS ever written was sold for over $100,000. Let's find out why this is a huge leap and what that means for the NFT world. Hi, my name is Alex and when I was about 9 or 10 years old, I got my very first phone. It was this little Motorola phone that had a tiny black and white screen and the only exciting thing it could do was, well, playing Snake. Well, that and making calls and writing short messages that cost a fortune with every single letter you typed in. But thankfully, hitting the like button for the YouTube algorithm is absolutely free. So help a brother out and hit that like button down below for me. Thank you so much. I remember the very first messages I've ever sent cost around 19 cents. And with inflation and everything would be around 10,000 euros today. Dude. Oh. We tried to save money by not using any spaces in between the words, which made reading those poetic masterpieces absolutely horrible. <laughs> With the years, prices went down and writing messages became our new favorite way of communicating. We've split the world into iMessage blue bubbles and green WhatsApp ones, where we share our deepest secrets, love messages and nudes. The short term SMS stands for short message service and the world's very first SMS ever sent was written on December 3rd, 1992 by a Vodafone engineer named Neil Packworth. The message was sent to a colleague in the UK who received it on his four pound Orbitel. Four pounds. Yep. <laughs> the colleague was having the time of his life at a Christmas party and the text only had 15 characters and it said Merry Christmas. What a timing, right? Now, 29 years later, we are able to turn photos, videos, and pretty much anything digital into unique NFTs. On December 21st this year, this legendary text message was turned into an NFT and sold for $121,000 at an auction house in Paris. To stay in the crypto world, the buyer obviously paid with Ethereum <laughs> and now owns a unique transcript protocol of the very first text message ever received. Vodafone wants to donate the proceeds of this NFT to the United Nations Refugee Agency. Nicely done, Vodafone. The funny thing is that even though we're making big progress by having NFTs in famous auction houses, it was still legally necessary to have a tangible asset so the buyer got a picture frame displaying the SMS along with his NFT. So. I guess we're almost there. <laughs> if you want to know what an NFT actually is and how to make one yourself, check out this video right here where I explain to you step by step how to make an NFT yourself as easy as possible. All right, subscribe if you like the video and if you want to have a chance to win one Ethereum. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Alex. Merry Christmas and see you next Wednesday.